In today's video, I'm going to be revealing two AI voice generation tools to use in your YouTube videos. These are professional high quality text to speech tools that will convert your video scripts into realistic voiceovers. Now, I normally don't recommend using this type of text to speech software when it comes to growing your channel, as there is always a risk that YouTube won't monetize it. With that said, there are many people out there who don't want to pay for a voiceover artist or record their own voice due to language or confidence issues. And I've had a ton of people ask what the best tools are to improve your chances of being monetized. The second tool in today's video is the one that I currently use as it has a ton of additional features, which you may also be interested in. Though I've used both of these tools with great success. You can get free accounts for both of these tools, so I'll put links in the video description for you to try them out yourself afterwards. The first tool is called Murph AI. This for me is possibly the best sounding AI voice generation software on the market, and it just keeps getting better and better. So with that said, let's jump on my computer and I'll show you inside. Now Murph AI has a variety of accounts to suit your needs, depending on the amount of voiceovers that you need to do. But as I said before, they have a free account for you to get started with so that you can try all of the different voices available and actually see if you like the tool and you like how it sounds. Once inside the studio itself, all you need to do is go to create new project and then select the type of audio that you want to create. So for this, I'm going to say article or blog, go to create. And then what you can do is literally just start typing some text. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is select the type of voiceover that you want, and you will see a huge amount of different voiceovers here. Obviously, some will be available to you and some will, you will need to upgrade to a different account to be able to get access, but you can test and see how they sound. And you're going to really see why I think this is one of the best and most realistic sounding tools on the market. So let's just play a few of these. When it comes to your phone, you want it all and you want it now this says you can't it's insanely good right now let's hear a female one promotion and ads are everywhere while watching a video streaming music hearing a podcast really good right so these are, are such good realistic sounding voices and a pro tip for you something i've been told i don't know how true it is but i, I feel it is based on the results i've gotten when running ads with these types of voiceovers. You get better results if you actually use a different voice for your target audience, a different accent. So what I'm saying to this is I'm English speaking, so therefore I find it easier to recognize an English robot voice than an American robot voice. So as I said, I don't know how true this is, but many people out there who use these types of things for their marketing and their videos recommend that say if you are thinking to target an American audience, you should perhaps use an English accent or an Australian accent because they won't be able to tell the difference between the accent and the edginess of the robot voice. So they will just assume that it's a real human being. So maybe that will work, maybe it won't. It's up to you whether you use that information. And let's test another one. Hi, I'm Harry. I'm one of the friendly and rude. So a bit more robotic. So chances are they're going to save some of their better voices for you when you have a paid account. I like to change it up. So I'm going to go for an Australian one because I think people can't really tell the difference between an Australian accent and uh, an American one. So it's just a good twang that it's quite similar, but they're going to be able to hide the, the robot voice, as I said. The future is electric and Green Electro is ready to take you there. Brilliant, right? The first three years of life are a Really good. So these are all pros, so I can't use any of those. Hey, this is Matt. I'm one of the native Australian voices. Brilliant. Let's select Matt. And now let's play. Here is some sample text to test the sound of the voice. This is a great tool for creating YouTube video voiceovers. So as you can see, it's pretty darn good. And I don't know if you've tried any other tools out there, but they, they always sound a bit robotic. And Murph really is... The next tool is incredibly good as well, but I think Murph, in terms of just literally having the template voices already there, rather than creating your own, is slightly better. But it really is, I think, just probably the one that's at the top of the market. But the next tool I'm going to show you is actually very, very, very good as well. And the additional features that it has 
maybe game changing for you in terms of the fact that you could create your entire video inside that next tool. The second tool and one that I currently use is called Descript. This is a tool that I've mentioned before on this channel, and it's not just a text to speech software. It's a complete recording suite that I use for recording voiceovers, videos, editing, and voice generation. But what I love about this tool is it can create bespoke voices to match my voice or anybody else's voice of my choosing. So let's jump back on my computer and I'll show you inside. Now, Descript is a similar price to Murph AI. Again, they have a free account. And as I mentioned before, I will put links to both of these tools and the free accounts in the video description. But similar to the, the price of Murph, which was around $15 per month for the smaller pro account, is about the same price as Descript. But as I said, this is the tool that I'm using now and Descript has a lot more features, some of which I will show you so you can actually create your entire faceless video for your channel inside of Descript itself. So once inside Descript, you'll create a new project and you will see something like this. But once inside the project, you literally just need to go and start writing. So I could call this a video project. I could call it anything that I want. I could literally just start writing. So if I go here, and then if we just put those onto two different lines, I'll be able to show you how it works. So if I highlight this, and then I go to speaker, I have my own speaker voice here. And this is something that I really, really love. But there are some limitations depending on the account you have. You won't be able to create your own voice with a free account. And there will be limitations if you have a smaller account to the number of words that it creates in your voice or your chosen voice, be it someone else, a celebrity, anything else you want to create. So let's look at the stock voices first. Actually, let's look at my voice and I'll show you. But as I said, there's only a thousand words that it's going to create my voice around. So really, unless you're actually going to upgrade, I don't think it's going to be the best option because it's going to get some words wrong. But let's have a look anyway. So you have to give it a moment to make the adjustments. And there we go, it's added the voiceover. So let's just play that. Here is some jibber text to test the sound of the voice. This is a great tool for jibber YouTube video voiceovers. This is the second tool of the video. So as you can see, it does actually sound like me. And now I've created, I just uploaded some videos with my voice. I could have done it directly. I think it would be even better. But where I tend to use this is if I've made a mistake in one of my voiceovers. I've said the wrong number, I've said something wrong in the video, then I can use this to just automatically replace the odd word here and there without having to re-record whole sections of the voiceover. But if you wanted to use this solely for the voiceovers of your videos and have it in your voice, then you would need to upgrade to a higher package to be able to unlock unlimited words so that you don't get certain words that are missed. As you heard from there, words like text weren't in the 1,000 words, so it just said Jabber. It just says a random word. So I would need to replace certain words with another speaker to make that work. In that context, I, as I said, I don't think it's going to be a great option for many people that just want to keep their costs down. But if we highlight this and we go into that speaker again and we go to stock voices, you'll actually see there's some pretty great sounding voices and they're almost the same as Murph. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the... Great, right? Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. So there's not as many voice options as Murph. Murph is obviously just designed for voiceovers, so it's always going to be slightly better and have a bigger range of voiceovers. But the sound of these is really good. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. And they're all included. Life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. But what you do notice is that you don't get as many different accent options. So you have to go with what they've got here. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Deve so I like that one. I think we'll go with Henry. So I can go into Henry here. And as you see, it's got different options. Formal, less formal. Some of the other voices actually have options such as talking calm, being angry, showing a different emotion, which means you can put different effects at different points of your video to show more emotion than just the standard sort of robotic constant voice. So let's try a couple of these. This great Bowerbird 
has spent over at Explorers told Tales of Lakes that they only have a split second to grab the prize. So there's tiny differences there, but not a huge amount. So if we go with, say, Don, let's try that again. Don has some different emotions here. So we can say, let's play angry. It didn't start well with the slowest service ever, but culminated when I... And let's go calm. Nurture the sensation of happiness and love. So a big difference, right? Imagine an English muffin soaked in artificial butter oil. So some different tones there. And I think that's really useful when you're, you're creating your videos. But So I'm going to go back to Henry. And let's just play this from the beginning and see what it sounds like. Here is some sample text to test the sound of the voice. This is a great tool for creating YouTube video voiceovers. This is the second tool of the video. Pretty damn good. I think you'll agree. So you can see that's really, really powerful. As I said, not as many different options as Murph AI, but it, it still sounds really good. Much better than most of the other text-to-speech tools out there that I've used. So what we can do now, and this is where I'm going to show you some of the other options. You may just go, I'm happy with that. I'll just type out my text. And then I can just go to publish, export, and download my audio and start editing elsewhere. But what if I want to create my video in here? What are the options that I have? Well, what I can do here is actually add some media. I can actually select from a huge database of different videos, images, GIFs, text, background, music, sound effects that are all included in your monthly price. So let's go video. Now we could search for something, but I could just say, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go with this one. And as you can see, it's now added this video. If I just make this a little bit bigger, it's added this video to this section here. So what it does, it puts a forward slash here, and I can put those forward slashes anywhere I want to break down these videos even further. So I can go like that, and now that would make this a single video section. But as there's not much text, we'll just keep it to two parts. So let's highlight that. Go back to the media, and I'll select this video, and let's play it from the start. Here is some sample text to test the sound of the voice. This is a great tool for creating YouTube video voiceovers. This is the second tool of the video. So you see, just like that in one tool, I'm able to add the videos, the text, everything else. But what if I want to add some subtitles? And the thing about this tool is, there's so many different options for different features I can add. So I can say, okay, I want to add captions to all of this. So I can go captions, and there we go, added some captions. But now I want to change it so that it's more visible. I'm going to keep it white, but I think I want to add a background. So perhaps a black background. Maybe we could go white. I'm going to go white background. I'm going to change the fill to blue. And then I'm going to edit the live text. So I'm just going to go into the filter part here. And we've got it to select the active word. So I want to highlight the active word with something else. So what do I want to do? I want the background fill to be that. So let's go with the background being light blue, the fill being white. So let's see what that looks like. So this is what it's going to potentially look like. And I think that's pretty good. Here is some sample text to test the sound of the voice. This is a great tool for creating YouTube video voiceovers. This is the second tool of the video. So it looks pretty good, right? What else can we add? There's so many different things that we can add. So we can add different shapes, eclipse. We can put waveform progress bars. So let's say I wanted to add a waveform to the entire thing. So I could select that, go waveform. And there we go. Now we've got something that actually has movement. Voice. This is a great tool for creating YouTube video voiceovers. It's now this may all be a bit much, but you're seeing the different features inside and the different things that I can add to change. I can add images, I can add more text, I can record different things, I can upload my own videos. So literally you can create your faceless video for your channel here, be it for your YouTube, be it for something else, uh, that you can actually just create the videos in here and all you need is your script. You just have to start typing and then you can start adding different video sections. So that's what makes Descript so powerful because you've got so many different features, not just the voiceover option. So as I said before, Murph AI is probably the best in terms of different options and just being a pure AI voiceover tool with the highest quality voices. But with still high quality voices and a lot more features, Descript may be the option you want to go for. 
if you want to keep your costs low and have a tool that will do everything for you and that you can record your own videos, be it your face, just your voice, or just use the text-to-speech and then create the videos around it. As mentioned before, I'll put links in the video description to where you can get free accounts for both of these tools. Any questions, just ask in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you inside the next training video.